Welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how to install the Kubernetes cluster on the AWS. Now, what exactly the Kubernetes cluster is, I'm not going to explain in this video. This video is purely to install the Kubernetes cluster on the AWS. So we will go step by step and install the EKS. Now, before installing the Kubernetes cluster, let's understand the prerequisites or let's understand what we are going to do in this video. So these are the things which we are going to follow in this. First thing is we are going to create one machine. And why we are going to create this EC2 machine? We are going to install the kubectl, ekctl, uh, everything on this machine. And we are going to launch the cluster from this machine only. Now this machine is going to be the T2 micro or small machine because we only need this machine in order to connect to the Kubernetes cluster. As of now, we are installing the Kubernetes cluster on the AWS. So the management is not with us. The management is all with the AWS. So we only need a way to connect to the EKS cluster. For that, we can use our local machine or we can use a machine which we can create on the AWS. We can use the Cloud9 environment as well. So it's totally our choice how we are going to connect it. The next thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to create a IAM user and this IAM user has the proper access in order to launch the cluster. The third thing is we are going to configure that user on the EC2 machine so that we can fire up each and every command from there. After that, we are going to install the prerequisite which are related to the Kubernetes like the kubectl, ekscTL. Along with that, we also need to upgrade the AWS CLI. So how to do all those things? I will tell you step by step. Once we are done with all those things, the next is we are going to launch the Kubernetes cluster. So there is a command which we are going to give. So whatever I'm going to do, I'm going to do it from the command line. I'm not going to do it from the management console. So let's start with the demo. Okay, so the first thing is we need to create a EC2 machine. And for that, we need to log into our AWS account. So I already logged into my AWS account. Let me go to the EC2. Now here I'm going to launch one machine and this machine type is going to be T2 micro. It's a small machine. We only need this machine in order to connect to the Kubernetes cluster. So let me give a name my server or something. Amazon Linux. I will go with I will go with T2 micro and in the key pair I'm going to select US West 2. This is the key pair I have already created. And one more thing I'm in US West 2 region. So if you are following along or if you want to choose any other region, that's okay. You can do that. It's just that you need to do a couple of changes in the command. I will tell you where exactly you need to do the changes. We already have one of the security groups. So let me take that security group only. 8 GB is absolutely fine for me. Other than that, I, I don't have to configure anything. I'm good. Okay. So my machine is in the process of creating. Meanwhile, my machine is in the process of creating. Let me go to the IAM and create one user. For this user, I'm going to give the admin access. The reason is because we need this user in order to create the EKS cluster. So I already have one of the user created and let me go to that user. And it has the admin access. This is not recommended in the production. It's just that I'm doing a demo. So I'm going to give the full access. But if you are doing it in the production, make sure that you are going to give the limited access. Let me go to the security credentials and let me create a new key pair. Let me copy the access key and the secret key. And the secret key. Done. Now let me go to my AWS console EC2 and let me log into that machine. Let me increase the font size as well. Okay. Now. So this is the default username and this is the private uh, public IP of the machine. Now 
here I logged in to my machine. So the first thing which I need to do is I need to configure the user. This is a EC2 machine and that is the reason we have AWS CLI already installed. If you are using any other machine where the AWS CLI is not installed, you need to install it first. And how to install it? You can go to the Google and type install AWS CLI. You will get this thing and you can select like on which flavor or which operating system you need to install it. Let's suppose on Linux. So here is the command for the Linux. You can simply copy this command and install it. AWS configure. Now the first thing which I need to enter the access key. So we already have the access key with us. Let me copy. Let me paste it here. Secret key is this. The next thing is the default region name. Now from where I will get my region name? From here. We are done. We have configured our user and this user has admin access. Now the next thing which I need to do is I need to install the kubectl. So how to install the kubectl? I'm going to follow the official documentation from the AWS getting started with Amazon EKS. And here it says these are the prerequisites which you need to do. So we are already done with the first one. So these two things we need to install. So for that, let me click on this install kubectl. Now here we have the commands in order to install on the Mac OS, on Linux or on Windows. So let me select the Linux one and I will go with the latest version of the Kubernetes. So let me copy this thing, the first one. Now if I'm going to do ls, I will have the kubectl here. Now the next thing which I need to do is I need to scroll down. So here it is. Here it is asking me to give the executable permission to this kubectl. Now if I'm going to run it, it will done. See, I'm getting the reply from the kubectl. So that means kubectl is installed properly and it has the executable permission as well. The next thing is we need to copy this command. After that, we need to enter this one into the bash rc. And after that, we need to check the version. So we are good. We have the client version here. That's good. We have the kubectl installed properly. Now the next thing is we need to install the ekscTL. And why we need to install this thing so that we can create our Kubernetes cluster from this. Again, we need to select on which operating system we need to install this. So I will go with the Linux. Let me copy this. Done. Let me copy this command. You can pause the video here and see what exactly the commands I'm firing up. So if you see, this is just moving it here. I'm checking the version. This is just installing it on my local machine and you know, copying it to the temp location. That's it. Now from here, we can check the version. So we have this version installed. So we are done with the first two step. The next one is create your first cluster. Now, if I'm going to scroll down here, it says Fargate or manage node. So we need to click on the manage node and this is the command which we need to give. If I'm going to give this command, what exactly it is going to do is it is going to create a cluster for me without any issue. I just need to do a couple of changes. My cluster name, if I want to customize it, I can give the name here. And the second thing is I need to give the region. So the region is for me, it is US East 2, US West 2. I'm sorry, US West 2, right? But I'm not going to follow this command. I have my own command. So let me do that. So this is the command which I have. Let me paste it here. Now this is the same command. Here I'm giving the name EKS demo one. The region is US West 2. So if you are using any other region, you just need to update the region. If you want to change the availability zone, you can also do that. So I'm creating it on US West 2A and US West 2B without node group. Here I'm not creating the node group. There is a reason for that. First, I want to create my EKS cluster and after that, once my EKS cluster is up and running, I'm going to create the node group. Okay. 
let me copy this let me go to my terminal and let me fire this command now here it is telling me deploy stack eks ctl demo one now from where i can see all those things so for that i need to go to my aws account i need to go to the cloud formation here it is create in process it is going to take 15 to 20 minutes so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pause the video and once we are back we are going to learn how to install the node group on this cluster and you can also see the progress by going to the eks last kubernetes service here it is in the process of creating and it is using 1.3 and this is the name of my cluster everything is in the process of creating so let me pause the video and let me back once this is up and running welcome back our eks cluster is up and running so you can see the cloud formation stack create complete and we can also go to the amazon elastic kubernetes service cluster and here we can see the status is active so it took almost 20 25 minutes in order to create this thing we can go inside this and we can check for the resources and other things if we want to do that as of now if i go to the instance i have only one instance which is in running state there is no node group which is attached to this eks cluster so let's attach the node group and how to do that we already have the command let me open it so here it is okay the first thing which i am doing it i am associating this thing with the oidc provider now why i am doing this thing that is something i will explain later on and this is something we need in the future okay so let me do that and let me create this thing let me create the node group so if you see what exactly i'm doing i'm giving the command ekscTL create node group i'm giving my cluster name then i'm giving my region then i'm giving the name of the node group then i'm selecting the type of the machine which i need how many machines i need how many machines it is going to create at a particular time and if there is an increase in the load then how many maximum machines it can create let me explain this thing in detail so let's suppose i'm creating a eks cluster i'm also creating the nodes and on the on those nodes i'm also going to create my application once i start deploying my application my application need resources right as of now i'm just giving the limited resources to my machine but tomorrow if it need more resources so that means it need to have the more machines as well and once it is going to need the more machine the maximum it can go up to four machines so that is the reason I'm giving the four. Now for both the machine, what the volume size I'm going to select 20. It is going to be the SSH access to both the node group because it might be a possibility that tomorrow in order to do some troubleshooting, I need to log into the node group. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach the key pair. So this is something you can change. Whatever the key pair you have, you can give the value of the key pair here. And even if you want to customize anything, you can do that as per your requirement. Rest all things, you can look at it and let me hit enter. Again, it is telling me waiting for the cloud formation stack. So let me go to the cloud formation stack and let's see. Let me refresh this thing. So here it is in the create in process. Let me go inside this. Let me click on the resources. So here it is creating the resources for me. Let me go to my instances. Let me refresh this thing. As of now, there is no other instance. Again, it is going to take some time. It is again going to take five to 10 minutes in order to create the instances for me and attach instance with the Kubernetes cluster. Let me refresh it. Let me go to my terminal and see. Waiting for the cloud formation stack. Okay. Let me go to my cloud formation stack. Let me refresh this thing. So if you want to see the pro progress, you can see it from here. So what exactly it is doing? It is creating the managed group. Create in process, you can see. Let me click on this. Resource creation in process. So 
so it has created the security group ssh you can see it is creating this node group at the moment so we have something here yes here if you can see we have the node group now so both the node group are in the running state it is initializing at the moment and if i'm going to scroll down a little bit i would also see the key pair name so here is the key pair name and in the security group it has created a new security group so if i want to edit any of the security group for any of the inbound and the outbound rule i can do that as of now only port number 22 is enabled okay let me go to my ec2 refresh now we can go to our console waiting for the cloud formations check it is still showing so let me pause the video for for the time being because it is going to take five to ten minutes welcome back here we can see the instance are in the running and i can see two by two check passed as well let me go to my terminal and let me run the command queues ctl get nodes now here i am getting the error message getting the credential error decoding something something like this if you want to read you can read this error message let me read rerun the command oh i'm so sorry cube ctl get notes now this is the error message now in order to fix this error message we have a simple solution as of now if i'm going to check the aws version on my machine this is 1.18 so in order to fix this thing what i need to do is i need to install the latest version of the aws cli so how to install the latest version of the aws cli so for that we need to go to the official documentation aws cli install here it is now what i need to do is i need to select my operating system so my operating system is linux and this is the command i need to copy that's it so if you are going to look at this command it is going to install the ali aws cli version 2 for me so let me copy this thing let me paste it here done now if i'm going to check the aws version still it is going to show me the previous version see 1.18 it is showing me what I need to do is I need to exit and log in back. That's it. Now if I'm going to do AWS version is it is telling me 2.9. So I have the latest version of the AWS CLI. Now let me rerun that command kubectl get nodes. Yes, I'm able to get the node kubectl get svc that is the service. I'm able to see the service, I'm able to see the node, so everything is up and running now. My Kubernetes cluster is ready to deploy the application. How to deploy the application, I'm not going to tell you in this. I will create a separate video for that.